protect me on Steam. <laughs> I got waifu simulator. Earthquake will be learned at 52. Okay, that sounds about right. We'll get it eventually then. Earthquake's so good. I can't wait to get rid of body slam. I thought it was, um... I thought it was body slam. It's just takedown. I'm annoyed about that. I can't wait to get into takedown, I should say. Flygon, you are flying and doragon. Even though you look like a bug, as that guy in the city said. Some pretty high level Pokemon in this room. What does Flygon evolve from? Like a little small Pokemon, or is it always a Flygon? This is not okay, this is a Christian stream. I wonder if it's banned on YouTube. I wonder if I can stream that, like, weird booby game on YouTube. His Dragonite is invincible. Are you sure? I have at least two more PP left. Oh shit, I need to whack your switch on him. I have at least two more PP left in my, um... Ice Beam. Should be cool. Oh, so the Dragon... It does, this doesn't actually change the previous path. It just adds a new... Linear path to go down. Okay. Hello there, Potter. Are you Weasley? Drag, 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 drag. Oh god, he doesn't have a good time, does he? Welcome to the city. It's the last gym of the Zeri League, so it's the most renowned and difficult of all. Be strong and get ready, for I'll defend it with all the power my Pokemon deserve. <laughs> you have to I already have Mecha Para, Yoma. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Is that a Teehee Pele you just sent? Kingdra? Excuse me, are you sending out a Kingdra? I don't know how to counter a bloody Kingdra. Are you weird? Um, he is going to use an attack that we can just use Swalfluggo to fly against, I think. Trapinch, Vibrava... Oh, Trapinch evolves into Flygon! Really? Huh. I always thought Trapinch was, like, really shit. He doesn't have Honeypop. I'm not gonna play Honeypop if you buy it for me. That game is literally just, like... Boobies. There's, like, no, there's, like, nothing else to it. I don't know if I want to be playing that. That might, that might worry me a little bit. Very, very, you faster than a Kingdra. Twister's such a shit move, don't die from it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Flygon was your favourite Pokemon. Flygon's pretty cool. I can't believe you just, you just died to a bloody Twister. Is that the worst move in the game? I should probably use Reversal, shouldn't I? Oh, I'm faster. Oh. Okay. I was, I was... What does Reversal do? No, I want to use Summary. Reversal. Inflicts more damage when the HP's down. Okay, this is not counter. For some reason I thought it was like a better counter. It's, clearly it's not. Come on, don't use Twister. It does like five damage. Hey, ultimate shame in the Pokemon world, dying to Twister. What's even the point of Twister? Is it just to give them like a cheap dragon move early on? Yeah, but boobies are wonderful. Maybe, but like... Not to stream. There's no, no content to put out of it. It's just, haha, look, this this one, this one's got big ones. This one's got small ones. Haha. Hey, reversal might be good, no? No, never mind. It's part flying. We're going to die immediately. Wah. Really probably should have healed before we did all of this, eh? Probably should have put out Agumon and used rock. We might even die. This might be like the first death of a while. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Outwa Outrage only runs up to a certain point, right? It does 40 damage but has a whole 30% chance to flinch your opponent. I mean, flinching is annoying, but I can't imagine that being like a big deal. Oh, oh thank god it used agility. Appeal to your audience, fuckboy. People get paid to do so. I'm pretty sure I'd get banned off Twitch if I just streamed pornography. <laughs> Goodbye, Dragonite. You are my favourite. Dirty Dave. Oh, he loves that. Oh, he's your favourite, isn't he? Oh. Now your YouTube video is popping up while you're watching your stream. <laughs> hey, Necker. Hey, Flygon. I like that. Let's think about this, actually, because um, we might actually die because all of our Pokemon are actually like really shitty against dragons, except for the one guy that knows Ice Beam. So we might just want to revive Swalfluggo. I'm pretty sure a Fire Blast will still do damage, even at half, um, half damage. Let's just grab ourselves a Supper Potion. Yum yum yum. How is the- has anyone like checked the Dark Souls video? Because I'm assuming they're alright, but like... You know. I like to know. I like to be aware. My, I might even want to use an elixir for like the first time in my life. This might be like an actually an okay time to like use an ether or something. Crunch lowers your special defense. What a weird... A thing that does physical lowers your special. Oh my. I, I guess I could also hyper beam and uh... 
keep using a normal type, but yeah. I mean, I could teach him Hyper Beam as well, actually. Agumon. You're not gonna die here, are you? You'll be fine. You love it, yeah? Where's the face cam? We never use face cam on the Pokemon videos. I don't feel like it fits. I don't feel like it's fitting. Like, we're playing the Pocketmon game. Excuse me? You're, you don't take... Crash, maybe? I, I thought that it was going to take super effective because it's like flying and dragon, but maybe it's like ground and dragon or something, I don't know. Ground and dragon would be a bit weird, but... I would love dragon breath. They're all like level 60 as well. Let's... Think about what we're doing. We might... Die? Use fly. Well, we're faster. We're faster than a fly gun, alright. Porky! Oh, Porky, you got a, you got a token emote! Who drew it for you? Because you were looking for that, weren't you? That must be because it's not taking damage from the sandstorm. I thought only ground types didn't. Yeah, ground dragon. I thought for some reason maybe flying types don't for some reason. And that didn't make sense. It being ground dragon confuses me. I mean, you could get sky attack or dragon rush that do 120 and have a 35% chance to flinch. Yeah, dragon types do like so much damage, don't they? So much experience. Are you going to learn anything good? Uh, Haxorus. You know what we're gonna do? We're going to use Dirty Dave as like a tank. He's got so much HP. Oh my Christ. Look at this. Level 36. I'm going to use him. Can you shout out my friend Porky TF? Hey, middle. Yeah. What on earth is this like a Half Life 2 looking thing? Yeah, that's right. My level 36 Dirty Dave is doing perfectly fine. So, what I want to do is I probably want to res someone. Like Heracles, maybe? Hmm. Let's just use... Oh, we'll, we'll probably be able to survive for long enough to get to res, get a couple of res off, right? Very easy. Oh, you just, you just did it from a Google image. I thought you went into my Discord and asked if, like, someone could, um, make it for you. Oh no, not the Sandstorm. Am I out of revives? Shit. Well, let's max revive our, um, Agumon, I guess. Why not? And then we can, like, if he's still gonna just let me live... He's just sitting there buffing himself over and over and over and over again. That's great. Uh... I can't put a leech seed on you, why not? You're just gonna one-shot me with Dragon Claw now you buff yourself. You haven't, alright, great. I'm just gonna leech seed you then. Oh god, leech seed did so much damage! I, I thought leech seed was like shite. That did like a sixteenth of his health, that did like an eighth of his health. That's way better than I thought, alright. Let's grab ourselves, while, while we're apparently just gonna sit here and just... Li live, live him out, apparently. Rest one poof. He's got Ice Beam, but he's got no PP. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what we could do? <laughs> we could... We could actually use our Dirty Dave as, like, a tank. <laughs> and just sit here and just use Leech Seed over and over again to kill it. This is more than I was expecting. Okay. I guess I'll just live, then. And use... Curse? Why not? Sword Stance. Yeah, you buff yourself. I'll buff myself. Hexaros' model looks so good in the newer 3D versions, but he's kind of shit as an endgame Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Cool Pokemon are always like the cool... They're always like the really, really cool ancient ones, like the... the dinosaur ones, and they're never like as cool as they seem, in terms of like actual usefulness. How good's Earthquake? Not, not as good as Leech Seed, apparently. I can't... I can't use multiple Leech Seeds, can I? Because apparently a level 36 bloody Torterra can live up to a Hexerus for 8 turns and just basically grind up HP. I had no idea I could do this. I probably should have healed there. Shit. Never mind, actually. I meant to use Curse, obviously. Is Leech Seed run out? Leech Seed... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, this is... I've never used a strat like that. Where I've just Leech Seeded over and over. This seems like a game version of NTR with... <laughs> Alright then, I guess Dirty Dave will just kill a Hexorus with Leech Seed. <laughs> you should get rid of Leech Seed. Yeah, right. Let's Leech Seed him as well. You already just dug a hole. You dug a hole against a ground type. Yeah. What, we, what were you expecting? I can't- I can't use multiple Leech Seeds. I'm assuming I can only use one, right? 
If I just stay alive for eight turns, he's dead, right? I just sit here in Earthquake. It won't even hit him because he's flying, actually. Ignore that. Can he survive a Hyper Beam? You can survive a level 61 Garchomp Hyper Beam. Wait, what? Does he... He took damage from Earthquake? He's not Dragon and Flying. He's Dragon and Dragon, then. Okay. Let me just quickly... Give myself a delicious lemonade. Yum, yum, yum. Groundon is an exception to that rule. He looks cool and is good. But he's not that easy to get and takes a lot of work. Groundon's a badass. But he's also an Uber. So, yeah, there's only so much we're going to be able to do. This is also Ground Dragon. Ah, I see. I... I didn't know Torterra was this good. I had no idea. I thought we were, like, done forever. Dirty Dave. Unbelievably good. Garchomp is just Ground Dragon. Gosh, Dirty Dave. Just like... Are you going to give me Dragon Breath? You've won the Claw Match. Oh boy, thank you. You can now use Waterfall. Oh god, there's going to be Waterfall. Tier mode 2 contains Dragon Breath. Oh, Dragon Claw. All right. <laughs> we, could, we could give that to our uh, Dragon Eye, actually. Yeah, let's do that. I think maybe... Um, Argumon will be able to learn it, but Swarflogger might even have the slot. Dirty Dave is really strong. Dra what do you reckon? Dragon Claw over Steel Wing. Steel Wing's only really useful against rock types, and it sometimes misses. We don't really. Yeah, steel's only good against rock, isn't it? Maybe, like, some other type, but for the most part, we're not really going to need it for anything. Dragon Claw will just do normal damage. But also does way more damage and is useful in way more situations. So, let's do that. Also, we can't go to Lava Surf right now, so you know. Torterra is actually an amazing in-game Pokemon. He's a really good tank and can definitely hold his own. Yeah, like, me using Curse, like, two or three times, was able to Earthquake and Leech Seed a, level 60, a couple of level 60 Pokemon. Like, that was unbelievable. Alright then, I guess we can have face the Elite Four now? Really? Sooner than I was expecting. Never use... Yeah, we'll run. It's actually... It's instead of running all the way to the... Place. Let's instead go... Where was the Elite Four? Was the Elite Four just here? But to the right, maybe? I've actually already forgotten. They told us earlier. Like, oh no, the Elite Four! Don't go there! There's four of them, and they're great. Gourmand City. Serenity City. Let's just go here. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll find them. We'll work it out. How long the stream? stream's still got like another 45 minutes. I was questioning at the start if I wanted it to go on for the full three hours, but I think I do. I'm in the mood. I thought it might be maybe a little bit too tired, but I think I can do this. And also, we're at like a really fun point in the game where suddenly we're getting a crap load of progression. People are saying this game is going to be like 50 hours long. This is not... We've only died once and it was at the very, very start of the game where we had like no choice but to die, really. But this seems like a very normal Pokemon game in reality, so I have no idea what they were all about. Probably want to be putting our uh, Pikachu at the front, shouldn't we? So, okay, I guess we're just heading off to the Elite Four then. I think there might be multiple regions. That might be what, like, jumps up the length of the game. But I don't know how long the regions are. I think there's only one Elite Four, so maybe it's just regions that you can run through and just fight people in, like, in the grass. We'll see. Where was the Elite Four, though? They were... They were on an off path, weren't they? Central City, maybe? Elite Four up here, perhaps? Oh, this must be it, right? Up here? We need to get Waterfall from someone. I don't even think it's the end of the game. I think there's like way more left after it. So we need to get Waterfall, right? That's how we'll progress. Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, that's how we go north. We need Waterfall. Hey, I helped your son. No? Hey, I helped your brother. He's never home. All right. Where on earth are we going to get Waterfall from? Because we beat the gym, they gave us Waterfall. We don't have it, right? We don't just have it on us. Before I like run around like an idiot. No, okay. Let's have a little. Let's have a little. A little chat. I did some shopping. Yeah, it's great. Excuse me, little girl. Thank you. Very thick. Like will not move out of the way. Makes the sounds of a rock when you run into it. Is there like another just empty house? Oh no, this has a guy in it. Hey, I'm going to give you Waterfall. Oh, it's the name rater. There's another name rater. Go away. I don't want two of you. Weird. There's a waterfall right here, so that makes me feel like I'm learning it. Oh, you're giving me a rod, don't you? You want a Tritani? Oh, you don't? Okay. Alright then. Ah. What's up here? Nothing. This is just the start of the town. 
Yeah, I never use water grass or whatever. Okay. Should I just quickly Google it then, without us having to just sit around and do nothing for a while? So I just quickly do Google where to get dive. Because we might be running around for a little while. Let's have a little check. Light Platinum Dive. How to, where to get HTMM Dive? Dive will be given by Steven in the seventh gym. I'm oh, not dive, I'm a waterfall. Waterfall. Um... Yeah, a lot of people saying they're stuck. Red gives it to you, he's in a supermarket. Oh, okay, yeah, I would have never have worked that out. Thank God I checked. So like, this is why. It takes, it takes five seconds to Google something like this, where it would have just spent, it would just be me running around on the stream for like an hour, not going into the supermarket. Go to the store and go to the guy on the left. Thank you. This is good. You've never used Dive though. Yeah, we never ended up using it. We have a Melothic and we just don't use it for anything. He's just, oh yeah, there you are. I guess we did everything in a bit of a weird order. Yeah, I've already done that. Oh, thanks, Ash Ketchum, for Waterfall. Do they ever use HMs in like, the actual Pokemon show? And do they ever explain why you can't unlearn them? I'm going to assume they don't have any more... They don't just give they don't just give you more TMs at this point, do they? I'd like to go up to the fourth floor. Just double check that they, aren't, they haven't just stocked up on more TMs while I was away. Also, wait, I don't need more revives. No, nothing more. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go and grab ourselves some revives. You are the X speed guy, aren't you? Hello? I can't speak to you from that side, obviously, yeah. X speed. And you were the protein on the other side. Okay. So now we've got waterfall without having to walk around forever. You can give us. Oh, we can buy 65. So let's just buy, like. We're going to use so many of these. So let's buy 25 of those. Max potions aren't going to be necessary. We can buy 50 of those, so let's buy, like, 20 more. And for outside of the battle healing, let's just buy, like, 15 of those. I love just using money in this game, because I feel like you can hang on to it so easily without even th ever wanting to spend it. And then if you get to the point where, like, you just have so much money but, like, nothing to use... How many Ultra Balls can we buy? We can buy 21. Let's buy, like, 10 of those. Never mind. We, you know, we might come across something that'll need them. And let's buy 10 of those. And the rest can just go into full heal. There we go. So we just spent all of our money. That's good. Remember to buy balls. Yeah, there we go. I feel like so many people have played through Pokemon, including me, and they've just... have all this money sitting there doing nothing. Such a waste. Uh, I just walked all the way up to the top just to use the elevator, didn't I? It's a bit of a sketchy elevator. Where do you want to go? I'd like to go to the first floor. Oh god. So much bumping. There you go, so now we've got loads and loads of consumables we can use and stuff without having to really think about it. My least favourite thing is when you don't bother buying revives because they're so expensive. In reality, you should buy, like, crap loads of them, because you'll be using those all the time. It means you don't have to keep going back to the Pokemon Center all the time, doesn't it? So let's grab ourselves a Milotic, who are going to be... who is going to be our, um, HM whore, I believe is the polite, polite way to say it. The... Mmm... Swampootus, you are... Um, Heracross. Oh, he's one level away from learning Megahorn. Ignore that. Yeah, this seems alright. I'm never dropping Biri Biri, by the way. Eventually they'll level up, maybe. Even if not, you know, they'll at least be useful for Thunder Wave. Always a useful move. So, let's go Waterfall somewhere. We need to teach it to Snake Suit first, don't we? Hey! You don't learn a third HM. Yeah, I would love to work, learn the third HM. How about you replace my ability to... It's just a splash, has no water effect whatsoever. Well, Waterfall's not too bad, actually. It's like only slightly worse than Surf. Alright then. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of a Tackle and go for a full-on water-based thing. We've done it. Snixie is learning the attacks. Hooray. So now we can use Fly. Excuse me. And we can... Oh, let's not even bother flying. Let's just put on a super repel. We've already fought everyone. Put on a super repel and just go north. Because I believe that is the method to get to the Elite Four, isn't it? Like, they were blocking us from going up there by not allowing us access to, uh, to Waterfall. But they never actually physically blocked the path with anything but the Waterfall. Like, they didn't do that thing where they just shove a man in the way and say, You can't go here yet. You're not strong enough. Why isn't Splash Water type? Because I think it's a mistranslation. It doesn't actually mean Splash. It means, like... Like, flail around and do nothing. 
like, I'm trying to think, like, paddle, something like that, you know, just, just do nothing. Tickle, or something like that. There's an actual translation, someone in chat will probably know. Look at this, the Pokemon... Spiky... Who would put spikes on a building? Are they, like, 12? <laughs> but yeah, because uh, if it was Splash, you'd think it would do a tiny bit of damage. Like, even splashing a tiny bit of water at, like, a Charizard would do a little bit of damage, wouldn't it? Am I just the same speed in running as I am on the sea? It's pretty good. Because it's normal to see fish splash. E. But also, you can learn it on things that aren't fish. You used waterfall. People are complaining that you can't use water. Are you back? Are you actually not bothered quitting? Hey, my friend is waiting in my house to battle you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are we going to have to fight them again? <laughs> It's like we're fighting that, like, little girl again who can't quit Pokemon. We're gonna have to, like, beat her up to the point that she can give up. I didn't realise I was gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to be, like, her, um... Her guide in life. That's alright. We probably should have bought more Super Repels. I didn't realise that we were running out. I thought we had, like, another 30, but maybe not. Uh... Oh, I don't like how the frame rate kind of drops when I'm going through the, the area like that. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop it. It's already dead. No, we're going to beat her up once more. Because she just can't give up. Something about her. She has a tenacious spirit. Oh, mate, never mind. She's gone inside, apparently. Hey, you want to fight? Hey, you want to fight? Fine. You've come to battle me for the title of the best trainer. Could you have come to me? Like, it's bloody freezing out here. The one house in the middle of nowhere. I'd like to battle, please. Look, it's an inferno. Yeah, it is. That's a... That's an Inferno, alright. <laughs> I hope he doesn't know any fighting moves at all, like Match Punch. I probably should have kept Swampootis for this. Oh no, not Fire Spin. Whatever will I do? Use Earthquake, maybe. You missed two Fire Spins in a row. I'm not sure- I don't want to be rude, but I don't think you have what it takes to become the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Oh look, you used Fire Punch. And did damage. You did it. Snow drops your frame rate in all games, yeah. It drops your frame rate in tier 2 because for every texture where there'd normally be a collision, there's two textures. You are ground and dragon. So, ground and dragon... Um... Ah! Oh. Ground and dragon! I didn't realise it, but now it means that we have, like, multiple moves that will attack dragon types. Remember why? Taught in Dragon Claw, exactly. Now, lo no longer would you have to survive on Ice Beam having, like, 10 PP. I'm going to bite you. Nom, 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 nom. I'm going to claw your face off. Here we go. Swole Flogger showing off that she is the true... true big spoon in this situation. Dirty Dave going those levels. Becoming a good tank. Wow, you're strong. Yeah, I bet you forgot how strong I was. You aren't in your house because you're crying. I'm going to go home and rest. Oh, your sister arrived while we were battling. I'm happy that I found my true purpose. Now I can fight for it. What are you doing just sitting in that chair for the next 300 hours? Don't do that. Get a job. This is a secret cheeky ice path. It's not meant to be there. You gotta go. Good night, Horror Channel. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're gonna be streaming for like another... We've got another half an hour left on this episode. So I expect we'll be able to make it at least... Hopefully to the end of the next path. I'm not entirely sure how long it will take us to get there. Might be some battles along the way. Probably be like a victory road we won't be able to get to, but... We'll probably be able to get up to there, at least. A woman waving goodbye. Goodbye, friendo. At least if we get to the Elite Four, we have to get a crap loads of money so we can buy way more super repels. I actually don't- I don't know how the gyms work. I'm assuming we think we beat the Elite Four and then it's like, oh, you can go and explore the other maps from the different games, and you can just go around and fight trainers. I don't think you actually fight the Elite Four from those games, or have to beat all the gyms. But I guess it would make sense. If you'd want to um, use your like level 60 team to become level 70 team, level 80 team, and then the final battle of the game is all level 100s or something. That'd be cool. No Pokemon game really get bothers getting to that point. No, this is Victory Road. Alright. Ignore that. We're on Victory Road now. Let's see how far we can get in half an hour. Probably don't want our Pikachu at the front for this. Let's get Heracles up. He's so close to getting Megahorn. This is like the Battle Frontier music from Gen 3, isn't it? 1714. Hey! Let's battle. We actually, you know what, might even go on for like an extra 10 minutes longer than usual just because we did spend a little time pause trying to get that Dark Souls thing working. Yuri! Big fan of that. Let's go. Ice Smash. 
this music. I really like all the Victory Road music. It's always so badass, isn't it? It makes you want to, like, be a badass. <laughs> you know? It's like, you've done it. You've reached this point in the game. Doom. Doom. It's a shame that in the Elite Four... I think this might even be the Elite Four music. It only really shows for, like, a tiny bit of the game, though, doesn't it? Like, only, like, four rooms. You're gonna play on your actual Nintendo because you can't find the right downloads. Ah. It is around. Like, I think I got it on, like, the first Google. Beauty sent out Luxray. Heracles, do you know Earthquake? You do not. So, uh, oh, e, mm, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, I mean, Ice Smash is probably still fine, right? Yeah, you have such a high, like, attack stat. I should remember that. He just raised his attack stat even further. He became confused. You know what? I'm just going to use... I bought so many full heals. I'm going to use that as an opportunity to just consider that as a free uh, stat up. Yeah, I've got 16. So let's just consider that a free plus attack and then wipe the rest of his team with it. Yeah, nice crunch. I feel like a good idea. But yeah, like, the Victory Road music in Gen 1 at least, where it's like, do... Do, 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 do. I actually don't quite remember all of it. I think it was like do, 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 or something like that. Maybe that was the main menu thing. Keep going and conquer the region. But yeah, because also in Gen One, you got people that had like the starter Pokemon in their team, so it felt really badass. Starter Pokemon. Yeah, I'm on Victory Road. I'm right away. I'm just. Is there going to be annoying strength puzzles in the dark though? I really hate those. It feels like the main puzzle of Bloody Victory Road is just that you have to have strength on you. Let's battle. Alright. I'm so glad they also have a description. Even though they haven't named the TMs, there's at least a description of them, so you don't just have to, like, guess every time. Or, like, start giving it to a Pokémon. I... wonder if strength can take you out before you'll kill me with, like, a wing attack. Oh, he did as well. Oh my god. Is strength of base 80 or base 90? I've completely forgotten. Because it's not even doing stab, and it's still just trashing all. Toxicroak. Poison resists fighting, I do believe. Let's have a look. I don't think it's Dark and Poison, I think it's just Poison, right? Dark and Poison would mean that it's like neutral, but... Oh no, not Revenge. Should just be able to trash through here, basically, shouldn't we? I'm so glad that we picked the team we did. Like, having a Heracross and a uh, Torterra is gonna be damn useful. Like, stat buff everyone. Oh, if only we could give, uh... If only we could give him... Oh, Torterra that... What is it? The, 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 the move that lets you switch to another Pokemon but keep all the stat changes? You know what I mean. We could give that to Heracross. We could use Curse a bunch of times on Torterra, switch over to Heracross, and just trash all. You love it when you use a starter from the beginning to when they've been with you. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever played a game and gotten rid of my starter. I think I always keep the starter for the whole thing. This makes me sad whenever you look in like the professional, like, you know, the actual, like, tiers of Pokemon, the starters are, like, almost never in it. And if they are, it's probably because they're fighting type. <laughs> oh dear. It makes me sad. I'd li I like using my Pokémon to the end, and I don't want to have to use it to the end just because it's a Blaziken or an Inferno. And I think Blaziken's only overpowered because it has, like, an ability that doubles its attack or something. Like, something really weird. Probably could have even used Brick Break on you, but it doesn't really matter. Heracles, you're so close. Megahorn is actually going to trash the Elite Four. They're not going to have anything that resists. They're going to probably have like a- because there's going to be no fighting gym, I bet there's a fighting Elite Four. It's just going to like one-shot everything. You found TMA Wait. Megahorn. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, bulk up. Ooh. And he can learn it. He can learn bulk up. Oh dear. Ooh. Can we get rid of- I am- Getting rid of Takedown to get bulk up. I had no idea we could teach this to him. We can up our attack on our purely attack-based fighting type. Can we even give him Hyper Beam? <laughs> Wait, what's his... Revenge or something? Hyper Beam's still physical in this, isn't it? We could give him a stat boost with Hyper Beam. I'll consider that for the future, because we're probably going to get Megahorn in that slot anyway. Badass. Repel, oh no. We're going to have to put another one down, aren't we? I can't wait. We're going to have such a cool team by the end, aren't we? Usually breed starters to get them perfectly in EV what you need to do. Oh really? Do you normally have like a million like Charmanders in your, uh, in your computer and stuff? 
Well, I guess people release all of them, don't they? You know what would be cool? Is if you released a Pokemon, it would get released into, like, a special area that if you were online, you could go there and you might randomly come across released Pokemon. Because that way you could get, like, cool stuff. What are you, ghost? Just ghost, maybe? Well, I can't do shit against you. Heracles really needs, like, a crunch. You don't, he won't learn crunch, but you know what I mean. He needs something... Something dark type, so he can deal with ghosts. It'd be such a good idea. I don't know what you could possibly learn, though. Like... Crunch is not a normally time to think of. I don't think, like, like Thief is really bad. Knockoff is good in the modern games, but I don't think it's really a thing in this one. If we could get Knockoff on Aerocross, that'd be pretty solid, though. I wouldn't get rid of Bulk Up for it, though. Kevin is trying to use some, like, Polygon. A Purgly. I was surprised there. I haven't seen a Polygon in, like, a million years. How much damage does Dragon Claw do? Oh, I didn't one-shot it. I probably should have used uh, Flamethrower then. Yeah, that was my bad. In the new games, you use the bad ones for breeding from mystery training to see what you can get from people. Sometimes it's good. Huh. I got a, um... I got, like, the, 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 the final... I got, like, a level, like, 50... Some really good dragon by accident. Like, I just put in... Like a, like a Geodude. And I got someone's, like, level 50 EV trained dragon with all these really good moves on it. From uh, Pokemon Y. And I don't know what I did to deserve it, but I got it. I think it was like a Garchomp or something? Or like the level below a Garchomp? Pretty, pretty solid get from like a completely randomized system, you know? Argumon, get you some HP back. Thank god we've got so many super potions. Like, I could not imagine going through these areas. When I was younger, I'd never buy stuff because I was always afraid of wasting money. You can't use the fire stick. I'm not going to need it, but like, I want it. I want it. Uh, does anyone here not have an item on them? Stexy, do you want to hold this dragon claw? That's not right. How about I use a. Yeah, Stexy, you can hold this amulet coin. Why not? That way we can pick up the Firestone that we don't need. How long do you tend to do EV training for? Because I always thought that was, like, quite a non-interesting part of the game, was when you just sit there, tr like, breeding over and over and over again, and then levelling them up, and then checking and seeing if they've got the right EVs on that dude that's kind of... He's kind of like, oh, you ha you might have all these EVs, because I said that your Pokémon seems pretty decent. It means that, like, six of them might be decent. You once put in a level 10 love disc and got a level 65 strength EV trained Lucario. You got shiny Melotic. It was very surprised. Oh god, that is surprised. I wonder if people like cheat them in and put them in there to make people happier. Oh, you learned Synthesis. Ah oh, my dude. Restores HP. The amount varies with the weather. Wait, 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 wait. If we did a rainy day, would this make this do more healing? So let me think. What I could do is I could run a Curse Leech Seed Synthesis, like, Earthquake setup, where Earthquake is like his main damaging move, but he also has Leech Seed and... But then he wouldn't have any Grass-type moves. It'd be nice to have some Grass-types on him. Does he really need Curse? It's only like a small... It's only like a plus one in attack, right? Although, let me, let me actually think. Because he can use Leech Seed and Synthesis basically just to stall out for a couple of turns. Razor Leaf's not that good right now. But it's nice to have a grass type move. But even it doesn't do that much damage. What do I even need grass types against? Like water. I can use Berry Berry for that. Alright. Leech Seed seems so good last time we used it, but it might just mean that it was such a low level. Um It's satisfying when you finally put them into battle after weeks of grinding and they destroy everything. That's fair. I'm I'm assuming Leech Seed is a one eighth of health every move, every 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 turn. So if we're playing against the Elite Four and there's one, like, final dragon Pokemon that's being a big annoyance, Razor Leaf isn't going to be what's breaking it, it's going to be Leech Seed. So let's go to Razor Leaf for now. Presumably he'll learn, like, Leaf Storm or something at a later level that we can think about later. Get rid of Curse, maybe. I like the idea of just doing a Leech Seed, cursing a bunch, then healing, then Leech Seed, then cursing a bunch, then healing, and then just chanking everything with Earthquake up until the point we come up against a flying Pokemon, I guess. Boy, that was a lot of damage. Nice revenge. I guess, like, if you're, like, I don't know, if you're busy with other things, like you're watching TV or you've got a podcast on, it's probably quite easy just to have your 
DS out and sit there just running back and forth and stuff. You know, leveling up your Pokemon and all that. If you think you can defeat them with ordinary Pokemon, you're dead wrong. Excuse me. This is like a team of ordinary Pokemon to you. They're not. I have a Milotic on my team only to use on HMs. Oh dear. TM42. TM42 is Facade. Raises attack when poisoned, burned, or paralyzed. Dra it drains half of maximum HP at the end of each turn and restores it to the wearer or any grass... I'm sorry? Ooh, it's still playing. Yeah, hey, Safsu. Welcome back. Drains half of maximum HP at the end of each turn and restores it to the user or any Pokemon that takes its place. Yeah, the other thing is, it like, it works, so if I end up, like, killing the Pokemon, the Leech Seed will carry on to the next thing. Which confuses me, so I guess that you don't actually put the Leech Seed on the Pokemon, you put the Leech Seed, like, on the floor or something. And they stand on it, for some reason. It'd be cool if you could bunk them up and just put, like, four Leech Seeds down and two-shot everything without ever having to attack. One... One... One level away. Will you one-shot this Larion? Ooh, I'm so ready for Mega Horn. I'm hoping it's level 52 and not like level 54, because it might be. I'm getting ready for the situation it might actually be ready level uh, 54 or something. Main Electric. Main Electric's used, but I really don't like the design. Something about it, just not the biggest fan. You missed Thunder. Thunderbolts and Lightning. Didn't you hear they were very, very frightening? Exactly. Maybe we shouldn't even give him health. Re like, Revenge will do a lot more damage than Ice whatever at this point, won't it? Oh, no Megahorn! I guess it's like 53 or 54 then. Because he definitely learns Megahorn in like Gen 2, didn't he? You're very close to conquering. Wow, that kid back there said I would never do it, but... Oh. Well, that was a short victory run. <laughs> I wonder if he'll get through it in half an hour. It took us like seven minutes. Oh, hello! Do you mind if I fight you before you've, like, healed up your Mega Cross, your Heracross? This will be a very emotional battle between us. It'll be the last one before we defeat the Elite Four, all right? Weird man. Oh, look, it's my Typhlosion. I'm going to send out my Pokémon that you can't do any damage to. I do like Typhlosion, though. He's like a big old hamster. He's a great- he's a good time. He's like a, like a fluffy hamster with fire coming out of his back. It's pretty great. Mega Horn is 53. What an odd number. Why, why 53? I'm half tempted to just use like a rare candy just to get it there, but maybe not. We should probably keep that in case we need to use it for something else or never use it. I never end up using rare candies half the time. Or I'll spam them to like get a Dragonite so I don't have to level him for the last couple of levels. Dirty Dave. He's about to use Agron. Well... <laughs> Switching all the way back to Heracross again. I do believe, though, Megahorn is 120 base attack, right? Hey, Pat. <coughs> I'm wondering, though. Does it only have, like, 5 PP, or does it have, like, several? Oh, shit. You didn't one-shot it. Heracross, what's wrong? You feeling alright? Let's quickly strength for this, like, steel rock type. You're kind of late for the stream. Hey, Akashi. Yeah. Um, quite a lot's happened today, so... Wow, great job, dot, dot, dot. You might want to consider watching the fonts. You might get some spoilers. If spoilers matter that much. There's about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes left. I might keep going for another 30 minutes, just so we can have the episodes a little bit longer. Like, um, we did spend a little bit of time with that YouTube thing and stuff. Oh, right. Probably want to heal our friend up, don't we? Where's that delicious, delicious lemonade? Here we go. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I love lemonade. I'm a bug. Oh, oh. What's up with PUBG? This is PUBG. It's actually 55, you think. You think you have the wrong version. Yeah, it's 120 down. It has 10 PP. That's pretty good. If it's level 55, that's going to annoy me a little bit, but... You know, we'll get it eventually, anyway. Look at this animated green... sea stuff, I believe it's called. Hello. Are you ready to face the Elite Four? They're all asking me if I'm ready to face the Elite Four. I bet I just, like, crush them all. I pull out Swampootus and he uses Ice Beam against his Gyarados. Flying and, uh, and water. More like... Thanks for letting me use Bulk Up. I'm also surprised that I'm faster than the Gyarados. I know it's only level 50, uh, 42, but, like, you know. Oh no, not Twister. <laughs> it's just Bulk Up as much as it... If he's just going to keep using Twister, I'm going to use Bulk Up as much as it'll let me. 
Oh no, not Leah. How many do you reckon? Do you reckon like four and we can roll his team with his strength? Yeah, I played PUBG a few days ago. Here's some nice tracks. Yeah, we did alright. Oh no, not Twister. Oh, I wonder how much stat we can get. If we can get a plus five, that'd be amazing. Kind of late for you, you'll go another good another good stream, Willow. Good night, everyone. Night, Julius. I'm glad you appreciated the Ron Weasley impression an hour and a half ago. <laughs> My memory. Oh no, he used Hydro Pump. Wow, you are like a really shitty Gyarados. I'm hoping Bulk Up is as good as I'm expecting it to be and I can just one-shot everyone. A girl and a tentacle being. Yep, this game's made in Japan, all right? Thanks, Fidel. Oh no, not Tentacle. Strange man. Is that... Does Tentacruel always make that? It's like the same sound effect as, like, the the electric type. I don't remember it being that. Maybe it is, though. You don't really tend to see them. I might have even used too many bulk ups. I'm wondering, though, if we come against the Elite Four, we just buy a couple of X attacks, spam them on Heracles. We don't even need X attacks. We just use bulk up a bunch, heal, and then just swipe everything. We'll probably do pretty decent, won't we? Wait, this is 6 a.m. You just woke up. Morning, man. Pretty early, Akashi. Wait, is it? I guess it's Monday for you. That might, that makes sense. It's still Sunday here for like another five minutes. So you know, well, it's a perfect place to challenge the Elite Four. I'm sure. Oh, I'm gonna jump on the back of this whale, man. No? <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, a Vaporeon. I'm not even gonna bother bulking up for this. Just an Ice Smash will do. Oh, maybe I should have. Nah, never mind. Ice Smash is good. I'm wondering if we ever learns a better fighting move, because it's basically Brick Break, and Brick Break's the one everyone likes using, isn't it? I'm a big old whale, like a bull, and I'll be one shot by Ice Smash apparently. Okay, I thought he had like 300 health or something, but maybe not. Maybe our Heracross is just that good. And something to use our final amount of PP on. An Ice Attack. Great. Your fighting is so much better than I gave it credit for when I was younger. Like, I used to think it was such a boring, crappy Pokemon. And then I got older, I'm like, oh shit, this thing will, like, one shot everything. Dirty Dave's level 41 already. Dirty Dave's leveled up really fast, hasn't he? Because he's, I guess it's because he's traded and he gets, like, 50% more or whatever, but, like... He's nearly, like, he's already usable. He's, like, level 41. He has 100 attack, 104 defense, 94 special defense. Like, he is... He's the highest defense on our team, I think, actually. Wait. Next, next to obviously Heracross, you'll never have a low anything, but yeah. Dirty Dave is going to be, like, pretty usable. Doesn't Weld have one of the highest base HPs in the game? I was under the impression, yeah. But that was a Whale Mer, but I thought it still had a pretty decent HP, right? I'm glad there is literally just a blue Whale Pokemon. I think it's pretty cool. It's a good, good reason I didn't get rid of my Melotic for that Swampootus, because now we can actually use Dive. Re I really like the music down here. This is from like Ruby and it. I like how there's even long grass underwater. Okay, I guess that's where we're meant to go. I want to explore. There might be like some Pokeballs down here filled with like a nice TM. We can listen to the music for a bit as well. We've got we've got so many repels. It's not even worth worrying about really. Then. Where is our super repel? I really like the music down here. I, I did use it, okay. The Elite Four are the five strongest famers out there. I'm assuming it also includes the champion in there. Maybe there's special Pokemon in this long grass. Okay, you know what? Maybe there's not really much down here to explore. Did I just go up to end up in... Wait, wait, I just went up to go down? What? That's not how tunnels work. Maybe it's upside down. Maybe maybe, maybe the, the view is screwed or something. Also, maybe this game's like 50 times longer if you don't use max repels everywhere. Are these these sunken ships? It's a little dark. Where are we going here? Am I going to have to use all my super repels? <coughs> oh, it's a dead end. Okay. Maybe I don't want to explore if they're just going to put dead ends up. Underwater, will we meet Ultima Weapon? Maybe. <coughs> oh, dear, I've got a bit of a... Something nasty at the back of my throat, I think. Yeah, well, well Lord has uh, 450 base HP. How much does Chansey have? Maybe, maybe Groundon actually has the highest base HP. There was like one, like one of those, one of those legendaries popping as it right? 
Maybe like an X defense Deoxys or something. Is this somewhere we can undive? This is where we came down, so no, that's not it. What fun. They make you fly they make you surf really fast above the water, and then when you're down here you have to go up staircases. <laughs> Ridiculous. Zehri underwater. This is the only underwater section ever. This is the Zehri underwater. Is this Am I meant to dive now, maybe? What? I can't... Are you sure? Is this not what this is meant for? Ground is only 310, but Chansey is 610, yeah. Chansey's a tank as a half. I, um, lost, I guess? I was under the impression we could just dive there, but... Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll go top right instead? Maybe that's where, like, a water legendary appears. You know, the famous water legendary. Or maybe it's just here we can... Surface. Nope. Yeah, look, we can do so- we're so fast up here, but... Down here, we're just useless. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna Google this quickly. <laughs> uh, I want to get as far as I can today, you see. Um, and if it's just glitchy, if like dive's just glitchy there, there might be an issue with it. Surf and dive glitch. You tried resurfacing... Okay, apparently there are glitches related to it. Okay, I'm not. Victory row. I think it's a good idea to do this. Oh god, no, never mind, actually. I'll just work it out. There's no point. These these are useless. You look for the square. Oh, is there a square of water there? Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I was I looked at a guide quickly and it was literally just like there were no spaces and there were no new lines. It was just like horror. It was just imminent horror in all situations. Also, did I go down all the wrong paths before I went down the right one? You have the tune underwater. It's such a nice tune. Let's have a look, because my screen might just be too bright that I can't actually see. Is there a square? Is this as dark as sprite? Like, right here? I can't use that here. I can't actually tell. I'm trying to like go down so I can see, but... What on earth am I meant to do here? I might... My idiot. On the left side, to the left. So we're not meant to be in this room, we're meant to be in the other room and then go left? Is it obvious on the street? Um. Okay, I guess I'll go left then. Out here, in the other room. I like how this Pokemon cries, it does make the world feel a little bit more alive. Let's go left then. I'm assuming down to the left has nothing. No, there's nothing, okay. Let's go back to where we just were then. I know we can surface there, that's where we were meant to be. I was assuming we were to go right, because that would have made sense. Because Victory Road was taking us to the right. Look, we go up here. Yeah, we end up coming down here. That makes no sense. Oh god, the music has started to kill me a little bit. <laughs> we're running out of super repels as well. Maybe we'll write the first- oh no, you're right! No, I'm an idiot. It's literally just this. Okay. That's fine. I wish they'd made it, like, a different colour. Because on my screen it just all looks kind of blue. I can understand that, though. I can't pick up the item without landing? Okay. It's going to be... I don't know. I have no, actually, no idea. I was going to think of a guess and I couldn't. Solar Beam. It's alright. Solar Beam's actually alright on our Torterra, because it would do a crap load of damage. The fact that we have to charge up doesn't matter, because we could stick a leech seed down. You know? Good stuff. The madman, he's done it. He did go the right way the first time. He's just an idiot. Oh, look at me grinning, and little man underneath peeking up. I wish they did more of that in the games. Like, they had people sitting on, like, more than just, you know, generic blue sea Pokémon. Like, if they just put the 3D model under, it would make way more sense. Really? You poison Terracles? That's his- that's his one weakness, though. How did you do this? You hurt me. You hurt me with the poison. What does poison do? Lower your defense, maybe? Because I think burn lowers your offense, poison lowers your defense, maybe. 
uh, uh, shock loans your it lowers your or paralysis even lowers your speed, and ice maybe lowers your special. I don't quite remember. That makes sense though. I'm definitely certain that burn lowers your attack though. Hey Gyarados. Yo, you're all spooky and big, big shrimp. I've noticed by the way, all of the dragons in this game are like shrimp. Is that the real? I went to the right, went the right way, but I'm an idiot. Well, in the it might be. XD. Is that that XD you just typed, Sifsu? That isn't a normal X. It's like an upside down X. How did you type that? How did you type this upside down X? Don't die to the poison. Oh. Well, very berry, berry. Do you want to kill a Gyarados quickly? For us, just a quick little thunderbolt will do. Thanks. Probably could even use Biri Biri here if it's still going to be like water types and stuff. It's capital. Your friend Kinky is also watching. Hey, Bonfire. Ooh, I want a strong team of Pokemon. It's Snooze TF2, our favourite player, probably. <laughs> no, our revives will be down here because we bought them, didn't we? There we go. 25. That's a good number. Yes, it is. Right, is there anything up here to explore quickly, or is it just just one fight? Okay. No. Wait. Where on earth? We didn't just come here to get Solar Beam and fight one lady, did we? Okay, we didn't. No, we did, maybe. Maybe there's more areas underwater we're meant to go to. That's how it's looking to me. Yeah, I think I think we're meant to go back underwater. I don't know if, I don't think this is the right exit. Well and assume instantly. There's not- I mean, there's another 10-20 minutes left, Bonfire. You can sit for a bit if you like. You must be a Snorlax, right? I would- I would expect that. Bonfire being a Snorlax. Fits in- fits in within my, uh, my head cannon. I like how we're on the lamp as well. They don't just give us a Lapras, they give us a new pocket mon to sit on. Hey, I can't. Where is our super power? I can't believe we're running out of these. I used to only occasionally use them, and now I'm using them in like everything, like all the time. I can't imagine I live even without. I can't imagine I ever play through the games without using repels everywhere. Like it just makes the game so much more fun not having to fight the same bloody Zubat over and over. All right, let's go. The ocean is the perfect place to train. Also, you probably want to get yourself a haircut. It looks like it's going into your eyes there. Hooray! It's Daniel! Hello, Daniel. Have you played Danganronpa yet? I haven't. I haven't, Daniel. I've actually run out of PP on Heracross. You found out a way of typing lol without the emote, but you forgot. <laughs> We're so close to learning. If it is 53, we'll be learning Megahorn. As soon as you kill this, whatever the Christ is. Good thing we went fighting, then strength, and not strength and fighting. Actually, maybe not. Maybe you'll just immediately die. Yeah, four times weak. Why did I even revive you? <laughs> waste of uh, waste of a revive, that was. That's cool. We were just Thunderbolt. I'm presu I've never even seen this Pokemon, but I bet it's just like flying, or, like flying in dark or something. The Heracles, give, give that Her then give Heracles your Osu PP. Is that a good idea? Daniel's about to use Starmie. What does the Pot of Greed do? Ah. The pot agreed. Gives you an extra attack. It allows you to draw an extra card from your deck. He would never run R. Hmm? Isn't that the other emote only some people can see? Yeah, there's two versions of lols. There's a normal lol, and then there's the, the one that they made into a, like, global emote. Due to some issues. This is Waylord. He has, um, 450 base HP. And Biri Biri knows Thunder. So, you know how that's gonna work. It's also, like, the biggest Pokemon, I think. Maybe? Very, very leveling up, as per usual. You think you're ready to fight? Think again, they're the five strongest. Werewolf's fan. He's got big blubber. Oh yeah, they're so strong. Victory Road. Okay, I'm gonna actually fight this dude to the left, just because he's there. I just want to show that I'm cooler than him, basically. Let's shove our friend B Dizzle at the front, like this. Argamon also hasn't leveled up in a while, I've noticed. I've noticed you've used that same NPC everywhere, like the one that's going back and forth and teaching their Pokemon to surf. What's up with that? Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> well, I see you're right at the last challenge, but I'll be your real test. Alright, Red. 
What are the controls on keyboard? You'll want to set them in your emulator if you are using it like that. You normally want to set it to arrow keys and um, Z and X normally are pretty, pretty common. Oh, you're resistant to flying. Okay. Do you do any damage? You nearly one-shot it, okay. Oh, not slash. I was hoping he was going to use wing attack again so I could actually kill it, but you know. I'll just have to pull out my better small flogger. Oh, my Charizard is level 64. Great. My one has Dragon Claw. Oh. <laughs> you found it? Nah, thick. Yeah, well, it's thick. That's what people like to say about it. Lucario. Come on. Don't make me laugh. That is also not the sound of it, but anyway. Thank you. Did you find the lul? That is not how lul works, I can't. Lul is either L-U-L or L-U-L. You typed in L-U-L. It's not the right... Thanks for the PP, I guess. I might have lost you, but I'm still going to beat the Elite Four. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Big shoes. Exactly. Got them. Got them big. Oh. Oh, look. We can run across these benches like youths. And spam the victory move message over and over again. Zeri Champion. Hey. Yeah, that's definitely not a Pikachu, but... My Pikachu and I are training hard to defeat the Elite Four. Oh, I like these flags. This is pretty. Oh, wait. <laughs> Something's not right there. They only used one tile. Hello. I fought them many times, but they always win. There are many places to heal. Are you sure there's not just one lady that heals? This is a nice Elite Four area. Like, it's quite pretty. Today I'll fulfill my dream. So we pose for the thumbnail. There we go. I should probably have been doing that every week. Whenever I'm doing the thumbnail, I have to try and find somewhere that looks good. Do, do, do. Oh look, there's people in storage units. What on earth? What? What is this? Leader, Atlas, Gromit City, type ground. Oh, these people haven't been stuffed and put into a box. It's just like a model. What on earth? Is this the dragon guy on the bottom right, then? That's creepy! Hall of gym, gym leaders. Creepy as fuck! Okay, sure, yeah, she's terrifying. Now we can finally never have to use Melotic again, unless we have to use it in the future for some reason, which I hope not. We've also got Giratina in there, but we're never going to use it. That'd be stupid. Let us replace you. There we go. Oh, nice amulet coin. I'm going to really need that. Yeah, sure. Hey, Vsauce Michael here. A woolly ghost. It's a zero-width character that's using some Arabic languages. Oh, the X. If you insert that in between the U and the L, it doesn't mean you lol, but lol. These people have been stuffed in people books. Well, said fuck in a YouTube video. Never done before. I've never said fuck in my life. Don't lie. I'm looking for a strong trainer. All right. Are there not going to be like a, like a shop in here? There's normally a shop, isn't there? I'll train hard to defeat Richard Astley. Welcome. How may I serve you? I don't need anything from you. I'm sorry. Okay, um, it's been three hours. But there's been a small break, so... How about we speak to these people and see if there's like a quick little battle before we do anything? Because in-game, we've only got 1747. There's 13 minutes left for me to make up somewhere. Hey, Ash, I want to thank you. We're very grateful. We'll see you at the next Pokemon World Championships. We're only here for a battle. Here we go, we'll fight! You know what? I think it'll be good. We can fight Diamond. This will be where we end this week, and then next week we can give the Elite Four a hash and see how that works out. Oh, I think that's a really nice ending point, actually. Something to look forward to next week. Samurai. Are you are you ice and water or just water? Oh, this is just water type. I don't know why, but just because he's like a seal type, I just assumed it was going to be ice and steel. Oh no, I have to use ice smash again. What a shame. That encore really, really annoyed me there. That Hydro Pump did way too much damage. Oh my... everything. Let's do it. Let's get on the Hydro Train, yeah. Mega Horn, Mega Horn, Mega Horn, Mega Horn, Mega Horn. <gasps> oh. 120 base damage. Oh. A brutal ramming attack. Using all out thrust horns. You think Charizard will be learning that, wouldn't you? One, two, and poof! He thought reversal. He led Mega Horn. Dirty Dave, leveling up. Mm -hmm. 
Metagross. Oh, you make me laugh. You only have two Pokemon. Oh, look, he's, like, really happy for some reason. It's like a really weird-looking Metagross. He's, like, a bit lopsided. Wait, is he part Psychic? Psychic and Steel? Megagon for 120 and Stab. Yes, please. Oh, Heracles only gained 19. The Heracross gave you 19 experience. Dot, 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 dot. We all know how Willow likes his 120 thrusts. <laughs> he must be really strong. Wow, that was a perfect battle. You're a great trainer. I'll be waiting at the championships. Alakazam used teleport. I guess he has an Alakazam. I guess we'll get to him in a few future episodes and destroy his Alakazam with Megahorn. Anyway, so... I do believe also by the time, based on him talking about the World Championships, I guess that once we beat the Elite Four, we can go to another area and just fight really hard trainers over and over or something. End up beating Ash Ketchum with his level like 80 Pikachu or something. Anyway. This seems like a good ending point. It's been about three hours. We've gotten to the Victory Road. We've beaten Victory Road. We've gotten to the Elite Four. We've beaten a couple of people. We've gotten all the badges we have 17 hours 50 so if you want to have like a rough reasonable amount of the game time i guess between 17 and 20 hours to get to the elite four seems quite reasonable people were saying about 20 hours for the length of the game so this seems like all right we've been doing pretty good i think we've only actually died once i don't know if it tells us that i don't know what this trainer card thing's all about i never, i've never actually known what this is do you get it for like winning whatever anyway i will say thank you all very much for watching the stream this week we'll end it here Tomorrow we'll probably be streaming anything. I have nothing planned. Maybe TF2, maybe 